Give me a sign here. Well, this um, rainy, overcast Brisbane day just got a whole lot better. Um, not only do we have a Hot Toys Stormtrooper today, we also have Captain Han Solo Hoth. And as you can see, this is the Sideshow exclusive blue coat version. Um, I went with the blue coat just because I have the vintage um, set with Han and the Tauntaun. Um, and I really like the blue coat, as you can see it says Disney there. Um, it, the blue, and as um, you'll see when I get the figure out, the blue coat looks really good. Um, I probably try and get a brown coat just because I, like, obviously prop um, references and that will tell you it's brown. But, um, yeah, I know... Um, the blue coat debate was um, not my era as I'm well way younger than the um, vintage that I was lying but I've always liked the blue coat and several um, Hasbro figures over the years have had the blue coat and the black series is coming out with a um, deluxe blue coat Han and Tauntaun set um, which is going to be good. So um, let's take a look at Captain Han Solo. Well Han um, definitely comes with everything he needs to find Luke. Um, we have a similar style display base to um, Luke's but it's not exactly the same. Um, Luke's had two pieces which just has the one um, and I put it towards the front of the stand so I could have Han um, standing up. We also get a nicely detailed life scanner. Um, there are extendable um, um, antennas which plug into these two parts here. Um, I didn't put mine on um, because it's going to be too tall for the shelf that I um, keep my Star Wars on. Um, but there are um, false or little unextended antennas which you can plug into there as well except they are really small um, I don't like taking small things out of the boxes a lot um, and I couldn't figure out how to I think I actually have to take out the whole tray and slide them out that way because um, they look like they're quite hard to get out um, my only complaint, and this is probably just mine is that there is a small you can see the white. Um, yeah, it's a small patch where the fur doesn't cover. Um, I'm not going to ask for a replacement or whatever because I can. Um, if I move the fur over a bit, it covers it up. It was quite well covered. It was quite well covered before. It's just when I moved, when I moved him. Um, other than that, that's no, great. I like it. Um, the hood. Not sure. There's no, obviously in Sideshow doesn't include instructions, so um, the hood does come all the way down, so you can see his um, his helmet, which has um, some good creasing detail in there. Just trying not to knock him over. Um, and as you can see, the head sculpt is fairly solid, and the goggles just are on elastic. A bit hard to do one handed. And the goggles just um just sit on him like that. Um I'd assume so. Um so yeah, it does look does look quite good. Um there's you can see the rank badge there. He has his scarf. Um, you can take, as far as I know, you can take the belt off, um, holstered with Han's gun. Um, it is, um, it is a magnetic holster, um, and it just sits in there. Um, the only other thing is, 
the magnet um, on mine wasn't glued in real well um, and it popped out so I just have to, it's a small fix, just got to push the magnet back in there um, and it should sit right. Um, I found that it's a really strong magnet um, so I probably won't um, probably won't use it too often like um, take the gun out because the only real way to display Hof Hahn is with the live scanner um, unless you're going to put him on the ton ton of course so um, like I said when you're using the extra head sculpt you can just pull off this section the hood does not attach because um, the hood folds back and is part of the jacket um, you can see the nice rank badge a lot of detailing in there um, it's got stitching there I think it looks like an actual pocket I'm not too sure what you'll be able to fit in there but hey and of course we get the binoculars um, very similar to the ones that came with Luke um, look very old and very dirty um, a lot of good paint apps and we get the droid caller there so um, I'll switch out the head sculpts and show you that right so here's the um, second head sculpt with the helmet off um, just put the hood on in there um, you can see that it's again the likeness is quite good if I just fold the hood down um, you can definitely tell it's Han Solo you can definitely tell it's um, supposed to be Harrison Ford um, I'm going to use the helmeted sculpt just because I've got Luke um, with the helmeted sculpt at the moment I'm going to put them side by side um, so that's going it's going to be quite good um, can't wait for Hot Toys um, for the Hot Toys 2 pack to be released um, not so much for the Han but for the Chewbacca because I'll probably display this Han next to Chewbacca not the, um, not the New Hope one then I'll probably just rotate the displays every so often depending on how good the um, hot toy sculpt is um, it can be a bit hard to get him to hold the life scanner with um, both hands he comes with I think a total of so he comes with eight hands um, that's where all the accessories are in um, he's got the droid caller that just pops out as well um, So yeah, he's pretty good, pretty good value. Um, he was the same price as Luke, um, two seventy-five AUD. That was with a um, that was with um, twenty dollar coupon. Like I said, he was the same price as the Hot Toys um, Trooper that I showed before. So they're quite um, all quite similar in price. Um, very good value considering the display stand. Um, two head sculpts, life scanner, and binoculars. Um, getting one Tonton -ton later on in the year, um, which I'll probably not have the room to display. But if I ever get the room, I'll definitely put um, Luke Han, Chewbacca, and um, my new Hope Buyer all together um, with that. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you liked a look at the blue coated Han Solo.